Hello and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Long time, no see. I do have an update video on my main channel, but I know that a lot of you do not watch my main channel because um, a lot of you, frankly, are blokes that don't wear makeup. <laughs> so that's not gonna be something that's of interest to you. Um, there's a little bit of crossover, but there's not very many of you. Um, anyway so yeah i have been gone for a little while um i just thought that i would give you a little update um and also ask for some video ideas of things you'd like to see um so as you can see gaz is in shed but he was um running up and down his tank like a complete nutcase so even though i'd normally sort of leave him alone a little bit more he was sort of driving himself mad in there so um he's gonna sit calmly on my shoulder before he pops back in he's quite dark um he hasn't been under his basking lamp for about the last half hour or so so he's looking a little bit darker than normal but he's perfectly fine he's a happy little bug and um, the move went really well so that's all fine no worries there as is fred you can probably see his tank there um, please excuse the mess behind me. I arrived back from a three week um, special effects and prosthetics makeup course that I was doing in Bath um, on Friday. So it has not been a week yet. It will be a week tomorrow. I'm going to try and get this video up on the same day. Today is Thursday the 7th. So I arrived back on Friday. We currently have all of our kitchen things in the lounge um including the microwave the wall between the dining room and the kitchen has been knocked out there's no ceiling in the kitchen there's no bathroom next door um <laughs> my house is a building site and um it's been quite stressful i've come back been away from home and i've come back to um, my room actually believe it or not is okay but please excuse I mean you can see it's not organized there's boxes over there there's a random bit of, bit of furniture there that shouldn't be there I actually have a really nice fireplace opposite my bed but you can't see it because it's got shit in front of it um so it's just one of those things that maybe um it'd be really great if you guys can just bear with a little bit um I know this is probably going to be a little bit boring to some because it's not animal related um even though big gaz is in the video with me um so yeah please do bear with i don't know where i'm gonna film um my lighting as you can see is awful i'd really like to get that background lit as you can see the light on me is actually okay it's just everything else looks so dark behind me and because it's a 1930s house i only have like one little like old-fashioned light above my bed because we've had to turn the other one off because there's no light in the ceiling no there's just a big fan in the ceiling um there's those little kind of like i want to say like victorian styly they're not they're probably not whoever is like you know house designers or knows their history better will probably tell you um but it really um when i have the lights on it's right over fred's tank and dad took the bulb out for me basically and was just like let's just take the bulb out so that it doesn't disturb fred so yeah so everything is a little bit um unorganized right now everything's a little bit dark um i wouldn't have this blue in here i've got random curtains there's like blue carpet um you can probably hear neil hitting things with a hammer there's drilling um the one free day that i had yesterday where there was um no one in actually I thought oh I could film something and the neighbours decided to chop all their trees down so it's been really interesting so I'm really sorry about that please do bear with me um and yeah I thought I'd just pop on here say hello show you big gas because he is he's not keen on the drilling and stuff I have to say but he is Here's the big man, here's the big boy. He is perfectly happy and healthy. 
and being a little cutie, as you can see. Mummy's good boy. So he's happy and healthy and we're looking after him and he's got a few little wax worms as a little treat. Um, he's going through a little phase right now where he's not eating his salads. So what we do is we put a little bit of, um, you know, things that crawl around on top or some nice brightly coloured fruit or something on top and he seems to sort of accidentally get a mouthful. Um, these guys are manipulative, frankly. So... <laughs> in that sense you have to um kind of trick them into eating their greens sometimes much like you know toddlers hiding their vegetables in like pasta sauce and things like that um so yeah he's doing really well he's gonna go back in his tank in a minute because he's looking quite dark i don't want him to get too chilly um this house is quite cold um but as you can see he's doing really well fred is the same he is scampering around partying all night um as usual and um yeah the boys are really happy so please do leave me some comments down below telling me what you'd like to see videos that i have planned are um, maybe doing some cute like Christmas ones, um, maybe like making some, I don't know, like bearded dragon cookies or something, um, who knows. Anyway, if you have any Christmas suggestions, then let me know, um, but I will be covering feeder insects, I'm going to do a whole video on that for you guys, and I'm definitely going to also be doing one on um, how I started a roach farm. Um, and the pros and cons of doing that. Also have one planned regarding how to get your dragon to eat veggies. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. That's a goodbye from me and Big Gaz. We will see you in the next one. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out my main channel and we will see you very soon. Okay, bye.